What is going on, gang? What's going on, guys? This is Tay, and you watch your Tay's two cents. Cha-ching, baby. Let's get it, let's go. If you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button. If you guys are not new here, you should have already hit that like button. So do the thing said one second. Let's get it, let's go. Hit that subscription button so you guys get notified every time the boy. No, hit the notification button so you guys get notified every time the boy drop a video. Let's get it, let's go. Okay, you already know why I'm here. Why I'm Tay, Young Money Tay, Wayne Tay, you the Drizzy Trey Tay, Champagne Poppy. The boy dropped it. He dropped a song about 30 minutes ago. I seen it on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? I went through the comments to see what the song was about. And oh, he's throwing shots at Pusha T. He's coming straight for Pusha T. You know what I'm saying? I, didn't, I haven't heard of Pusha T uh, album. Honestly, to be honest with you guys, I didn't know the Pusha T album even came out today. I found out at work today. One of my guys, he's like, he's a real Pusha T fan. He's an old school head. Let's get it. Let's go. He told me the Pusha T came out today. And he said he, he, he mentioned, he talked about Wayne. And he also had, he had a shot at Drake in there as well. Let's get it. Let's go. So honestly, I wouldn't even understand why Drake took this shot. Uh, at Pusha T in this song, this Duppy Freestyle, let's get it, let's go. If it wasn't for my guy telling me that Pusha T did this at work, because honestly, I wouldn't have played Pusha T on my own, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys let me know there's flame, I will go check that out. But other than that, I'm, I'm, here, I'm here for Drake's response. I'm here for a reaction. I'm going to react to Drake's reaction. Let's get it, let's go. I mean, he, he's obviously flustered. He's obviously not, he's, he's not, he's not. <laughs> whatever Pusha T said is not sitting well with him. He's tired of the Pusha T shots coming for the Young Money Squadron. You know what I'm saying? This is Young Money Gang all day. Let's get it, let's go. So if you guys here to rap Pusha T, you about to, you about to rep him well. You about to, you about to, you about to rep it well. Cause whatever Drake about to say, I'm pretty sure it got that torch on it. It got that flamethrower on it. It got that, that light that, that Wayne had all his career. The same light that I don't think even work anymore. That Wayne had all his career in all, in all, in all the studio sessions. Let's get, let's go. I think Drake got that torch with me. Let's get, let's go. I mean, we gonna, we gonna check it out. Y'all know I'm talking fast. I'm excited. I just gotta work. I'm trying to get straight to it. Woo! It's Friday, y'all. And we got a three-day weekend because we got Memorial Day coming up on Monday, man. I'm excited. You guys are going to see me all weekend. Are you guys ready for this? Okay, we better get straight to it. We better get straight to it because Dre had it. And I was like, yo, I was like, no, I'm going to keep it short and simple. I was sitting on the, you know what I'm saying? I was sitting on, I was sitting in the Oval Office. I was doing my thing. I just got off. I'm, I'm a grown man. I said, I just got off work. I was sitting on the Oval Office doing my thing. And I got on Instagram. I'm just you know I'm looking for the, looking for what's going on this weekend. Look what's popping. See who's see who, see who looking nice. All that. Let's get it. And then, there you go. 30 minutes ago, Drake. W Freestyle and Lincoln Bio. He, he said he sounded like a local rapper. Lincoln Bio. So I said, you know what? Get off the toilet. Had to do my thing, wash my hands. Now I'm downstairs in the basement. Let's get it. Woo -hoo -hoo. I got that. Hold on, y'all. This, this video is not sponsored by guests, but the boy got the fresh air up. Are you ready for this? I just, ooh, I just, ooh, I miss when Drake used to drop music on SoundCloud, bro. Let's get it. Like, whoa, whoa. Okay, it's album mode. I know it's album mode when he dropped music on SoundCloud. That's that, that's that free stuff. Let's get it. I ain't gonna hold you guys up. Let's see, let's see, let's see what we got going on. The audacity. The audacity. Let's get it. <laughs> he probably called Wayne for this one. He called Wayne up. Dude, I can smell that cologne everywhere. With someone else on a couple of V's. What do you really think of the nigga that's making your beats? I done things for him I thought that he never would need. Father had to stretch his hands out and get it from me. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I just caught it. I just caught it. I knew it was something I was going to catch. He said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He said, father stretch his hands out and get it from me. It's about Kanye. And he said Kanye needed help. Then he said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Take it back. Hold on. I thought this was about Pusher. Well, hold on. This is about the, this is, it's holding on a whole good label, like just a whole dissonance entirely, yo. It's like a, oh, hold on. He always had to stretch his hands out and get it from me. I pop style for 30 hours and let him repeat. Hold on. Oh, hold on, pop style. You got another song, pop style. Drake, uh, uh, Kanye, and and Jay Z. I don't know if Jay Z. Jay Z didn't make it to Drake's album, or and Kanye stayed on. But before then, it was just Drake on the album. It was just Drake on the song, and it was like it was quiet. So he's talking about Kanye. He said, "Father had to stretch his hands out to get it from me. Father had to stretch his hands out to get the beat from me, or whatever the case." He said, "Only said Kanye needed help. You know, his last album or his upcoming album or whatever album. He's Drake saying, yo, he's he's, he's adding out Kanye. Okay, this is. I thought it was just about pushing team. Yo, what's going on?" Oh. Now you popping up with the jokes, I'm dead, I'm asleep. I just <laughs> left him over by... Oh, it's pop, it's heating up now. Y'all put a pen in the sheets. Tired of sitting quiet and helping my enemies eat. Keep getting temperature checks, they know that my head overheats. Don't... I'm getting, I'm getting tired of helping y'all. When, when I help y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, y'all saying y'all say thank y'all, whatever. But when I say no for the first time, y'all, y'all feelings. Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Is the YM representing the YM leader right now? You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he's, he's, he's the heavy star boy of YM Young Money. Let's get, let's go. Is he saying? He's always helping y'all. I'm always helping y'all. I'm, I'm tired of helping y'all. I'm, I'm trying to share the bread. And y'all, I'm helping y'all. Y'all not, y'all not paying no gratitude back. Okay. 
I'm, I'm getting head checked. I'm get, I'm, they check my head. They know my head off. They know I get mad. They know I get frustrated. They know I, 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 I get tired of dealing with y'all. I get tired of, ooh, I got I, I got a vent. It's, this is a vent. He's venting. He's just venting. Okay, this is Drake. This is Drizzy Drake. Champagne Poppy. I'm promoting. He's venting. Here we go. Listen to denim and Steve. Must have had your infrared wrong. Now your head in a beam. Y'all are the spitting image of whatever jealousy breeds. Don't push. <laughs> When he stop drop, when he starts dropping tracks on SoundCloud, I'm telling you guys, I'm already hip to the pattern. When he starts dropping tracks on SoundCloud for the free, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the label didn't approve. That mean he don't have to go to the label to release the music. Yo, he just dropped them. It's for free. It's whatever. It's no, it's no chorus. It's no hook. He just dropping straight bars. Yo, he's an album mode. Listen, y'all don't want to play with the boy when he's an album mode. I already know it. See, see, I would see, 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 see. Whatever pushes these head in this album, I'm telling you, got the boy steamed up. I'm telling you, I'm. I'm telling you, I, I, you could have asked me if it was a good idea, I would have told you no. Bruh. Well, I gotta challenge those, but I bring calicos to the Alamo. I could never have a Virgil in my circle and hold him back because he makes me nervous. I want to see my brothers flourish to their higher purpose. Whoa, yeah, he's definitely coming at Kanye. Yo, 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 he's, yo, he's talking about Virgil. Like, I don't know if you guys know who Virgil is, you know what I'm saying? He's talking about the off white guy, the guy that got the guy Nike's partner right now. Like, got Nike's selling for like thousands, 1500. Like, he, the whole off white collab is Virgil Abloh, yo. And like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I, didn't, I thought so, but I wasn't sure so. But I seen Virgil and Kanye in the same circle, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know if, if I don't know how Kanye could be holding the back, but Kanye already has a, a heavy established name inside the industry, inside the fashion world as well, you know what I'm saying, and yo, I don't know if Virgil got away from Kanye and then he went to Nike, because yo, I, 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 I'm, I'm not sure, but yo, he just said, I couldn't have a Virgil in my circle and not try to push him, I couldn't have a Virgil around, I couldn't have somebody that's creative, that had have, that, have that much talent, had that much skill, and not push him to do more, you held him back, Kanye, let me find, let me find out if that's what they're getting at, let me, let me just find out, let me, that's crazy, that's crazy, that's crazy. I want to see my brothers flourish to their higher purpose. Yeah. You niggas leeches and serpents. I think it's good and now the teachers are learning. So you don't rap what you did. You just rap what you knew. Don't be ashamed. There's plenty niggas that do what you do. There's no malice in your heart. You an approachable dude. No, <laughs> The heat is on pushing now. It was on Kanye. It was on Kanye for a few lines, but it's on push. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little robbed. I'm off the pivot foot. You know what I'm saying? I'm going for the. I'm taking it to the basket. I'm taking it to the basket. Oh, 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 oh Drake taking it to the basket. I'm, I, I just got the assist. I got, I got the rebound. If you ever need it, bro, I'm letting you know. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. It's Friday. It's about, to, it's about to get lit. Yo, it's, it's a three day weekend. What is going on? Why is he coming out the? Why is he coming out the people like this? He's trying to destroy their album sales. His album not even releasing. This song is for free. Like, what Drake? What are you doing? What are you doing, yo? I'm not saying it should be for free, but you you destroyed. Oh, I gotta go check out the Pusha T song now. I mean, he, he he just he just went on Kanye for a while. Let's see let's see if he's gonna jump out the Kanye. He definitely just made a shot and Pusha T. I don't know if you guys caught them. Sorry, I didn't break it down. But no Malice, that's his brother Malice. Malice used to rap. I think rap Malice is like a a, a, pre, a preacher or a pastor or something like that. That's his brother back when it was clips. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the clips. <sighs> Sorry, <laughs> but back when they was the clips, that was malice and malice. Uh, the definition of malice is like uh, with intent to of evil or to harm or just it's it's, it's like an evil spirit or not spirit, but like it's like malice. Like you 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 literally have no soul, bro. Like that's and that's what he said. He he telling Pusha T like, bro, you have no malice in your heart. Malice is no longer rapping. You know what I'm saying? And you have you have no attempt, You have no no real evil intent. Like please relax on that, bro. <laughs> Let's get it. Man, you might have sold the college kids for Nike and Mercedes, but you act like you sold drugs for Escobar in the 80s. I had a I stamp! I stamp! Yo, that is so pushy T! Please believe your demise will be televised. Yeah. <laughs> I'm putting you on front street. I'm putting you out there. Your demise, your, your destruction will be taken down. Stop playing with Young Money. Stop playing with Wayne. Stop playing with Drake. Stop playing with the label. That's all I got to say about that. That's all I got to say about that, bro. Just, just don't do it. Don't do it. And as for Q, man, I changed his life a couple times. Nigga was at Kroger working double time. Y'all acting like you made the boy when I was trying to help the guy. What are you talking about, Q? I'm, just, I'm sorry because I was listening to local rapper Q to food. Q, 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 Q. Yo, is he talking about Quentin Miller? He's talking about Quentin Miller. He said the boy was at Kroger's working overtime or double time or something like that. He said, you act like, I, he said I was trying to help the boy. You act like you made the guy. Come on, he said, he basically telling he used, I guess, I don't know if he's admitted to using one of his verses or using one of his songs or using one of his giving. <laughs> 
Compromise would be televised, yeah. And as for Q, man, I changed his life a couple times. Nigga was at Kroger working double time. Y'all acting like he made the boy when I was trying to help the guy. I'm, just, I'm sorry because I'm listening to local rapper Q the Fool. Q, 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 Q. For Quit Miller? He said about Quit Miller. He said the boy was at Kroger's working overtime or double time or something like that. He said you act like you, I, he said I was trying to help the boy. You act like you made the guy. Come on. He said he basically telling he used, I guess, I don't know if he's admitted to using one of his verses or using one of his songs or using one of his, giving him some song credit. You know what I'm saying? So he gets some money in his pocket or something like that. I don't know if he was like, I don't know what he's saying right there. You know what I'm saying? He, he said you act like he made the boy. I was trying to help the guy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep bringing up this guy Q in the middle. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, y'all keep bringing up. Listen. He was, he was a regular person. I mean, and we all, I'm a regular person. And, and I go to work every day, nine to five. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Monday through Friday. That's what I do. Let's get it. He was saying, he was, he was working double time at Kroger. I try to put some real, some real, some, some celebrity money in his pockets. I, 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 I use one of his verses. I use one of his songs. Or, or I put him in a song credit or something like that. Whatever, whatever he did, he, he, he just kind of admitted to whatever, whatever happened. Okay? That's what it is. And we're going to move past it. Just like we're going to move past this. Or just like, just like the world seemed to be moving past that Meek Mill. You know what I'm saying? Drake Beef. You know what I'm saying? Because Meek Mill is, he been through a lot. <laughs> I think that's why it's going on, but whatever the case, we, we gonna keep on moving on, okay. Who gas you to play with me? <laughs> Man, you made this shit as easy as ABC. Whoever's supposedly making me hits, but ain't got no hits, sound like they need me. Sorry, I literally got so hyped, but this never happens to me. Trust me, I've been, I haven't been i have been doing anything crazy, eating unhealthy, anything like that. I didn't get punched anything like that. But su surprisingly, I got so hyped, I got so excited, I started to get hot, maybe. And my nose started bleeding. I don't know if you guys might have seen it in the last clip. I'm not going to show the whole thing because I don't want YouTube to like, take it down because of the blood or anything like that. My lyrics did it. My spirit did it. My spirit. I'm fearless with it. Yeah. yeah listen. I really shouldn't have given you none of my time because you older than a nigga. You running behind. <laughs> Now, now that I got the whole Quinn Miller best situation out of hand, hold on, is Pusha T actually called it? Hold on, hold on, let me see. Is Pusha T actually older than, uh, uh, let's see, then Kanye West? 41 years, wow, 41 years, let's get it. How old is Kanye? Is he older, he older than the person that you run behind. Yeah, he's actually, because Kanye West is 40. Yeah, he's older than, <laughs> Check it out, I mean, it's, it's barely, but it's, it's still there. There you go, Drake Miller's research was, come on, he killing him, let's get it. Oh! Holla at me when you multi-million I told you keep playing with my name And I'ma let it ring on you like Virginia Williams I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't, I don't let it ring on you like a, maybe it's like an old song or like an old sample. I will let it ring on you like Virginia Williams. I like the way that he said it though. The flow was like that. Keep, keep playing with my name. I'm gonna let it ring on you like Virginia. He's talking about guns. <laughs> or I will, I will, I will, I will maybe do his, his lyrical, his lyrical gun. You know Drake ain't told no gun. Yo, we all know that. I'm too resilient. Get out your feelings. <laughs> it's gonna be a cool summer for you. I told we. Right there, he just came for the whole. I mean, even though he's targeting that manly Kanye and pushing T, he just came for everybody right there. Literally, right there, it's gonna be a cruel summer for you. I know y'all remember that that group take cruel summer back when groups was a thing. MMG, Young Money had their whole squadron, you know what I'm saying? Good music had their whole squadron, and I mean, it was that was like the main top three right there. You know what I'm saying? I don't really think there was anybody else that was running with those those cats because it was like, you know what I'm saying? All, all the different squadrons. He said, if they had they had an album called Cruel Summer. It's gonna be a cruel summer for you. That was kind of. I told Weezy and Baby I'm a done. Weezy and yeah, Baby. Yeah, yeah, we got an invoice coming to you. Considering that we just sold another twenty for you. Oh, what is he talking about? He said, "I told, I told you, I got an invoice coming for you. Considering we got a, we just sold another, another twenty for you. Another, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Drake saying that every, t every time you mention my name, you make, you make sales. Every time, you, every time you make a diss towards my camp, Wayne or me, you, you keep making money because you keep talking about it. Every time you mention our name, our name is popping. Your name is not popping. So when you mention our name, you sell records. He said, I got an invoice coming to your camp. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say you got your invoice because you, you owe us some money. You are mentioning us and making money off of it. Where's my money? He said, I'm gonna send an invoice to your camp. Duffy. I don't, we don't know what, let me know what Duffy means in the comment section down below, please. I'm not sure what that means at all. I ain't gonna hold you guys. So the crazier thing, other than Drake,
Drake just saying all this. I mean, do I have to say anything else? Because I just said it all through the reaction. Other than Drake saying all of what he just said, yo. Like, the fact is, the album had to have dropped either last night, Thursday. I'm saying Thursday, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. You know how the album's dropping, you know what I'm saying? But it, is, it be Friday. It be, not, like, less than 24 hours. Like, that's how that's that's how beef is supposed to be. Right? That's, how, that's how bad it's supposed to happen, right? I mean, you, you're supposed to respond in, like, 24 hours. That's literally what he did. Like, he literally came back claiming, man. man like I said, I haven't heard the Pusha T track. I haven't heard it. I mean, I don't know if Kanye West is even on the song. Maybe maybe Kanye West just had to go with it. If Kanye West approved the album, Kanye had to listen to the album, and he said it was okay to come in Drake and Drake, like, yo, I've, I've been helping you out so, for so long. You know what I'm saying? I even came out to the little Colorado spot, you know what I'm saying, help you with your new album, and you, you, you approved of this? Maybe that's why it came out to Kanye, but other than that, it came out less than 24 hours. If it has to come out less than 24 hours, well, let's Drake him in, unless you get in the celebrity world where things get leaked a little early, you know what I'm saying? And, but other than that, the right next day, we have a diss track coming from Drake. Drake, Drake himself, like, literally, not, not no leak. He leaked himself. He talked about it on Instagram himself. Duffy Freestyle, bro. Like, it, it, did he ever, did he ever miss a bar? Was any bar ever something that's like a filler bar? When I, when I call it, when I say filler bar, I mean something that's, you just see, you make like a quick line that has nothing to do with anything about the song or anything about the diss. You just say it can make the word rhyme and switch to the next flow. Literally, every line was about the whole situation. He never skipped anything. I understand Pusha T is a spitter. I do get that. I do get that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes his, his, his flows in, in his wordplay can be a little hard to this thing. But listen, Drake... Uh, he he made it so under well, I can say everyone can understand because I didn't get that Virginia Williams line, so I didn't I don't really know. But I mean some people some people may miss that. Some people may miss and the new generation may miss that the fact that it's gonna be a cruel summer for you. People might not say like oh it's gonna be a cruel summer, like he's making an insult. No, it's actually their album name. And say and if I father stretch my hands, that was definitely a reference that I didn't know that he was talking about Kanye West. He said father stretch my hands reached out to me. Like, come on, brother, he, he's coming straight at these guys, straight at them. This is crazy. Kanye West has been so attacked, yo. <laughs> so attacked, but when you're at the top, that's what you're doing. People keep coming for Drake and like, he, he literally responded. Like, people, I'm sure a lot of people say he was not going to respond to Pusha T. I mean, I didn't see it because I didn't know Pusha T. Had, well, I didn't know because my guy told me, but I don't know if I was going to even check it out because Pusha T is always coming from Young Money Camp. That's just what he do. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Drake responded. Maybe he got on the phone with Wayne said, I, I, I'm going to do it. I, I got this one. Please, please, let me, let me, let me off the train. He said, run, 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 run. He was a dog at the face, like, let me up the chain. I mean, I, I got no more, more to say. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. What was your favorite bar? Like, what was your favorite bar? I don't, I don't know what, this, what mine is. I just played them. I played it a few times before I edited the video. But I, I, will, I will post my favorite bar in the comments section down below as well. If you guys love the reaction, if you guys like the channel, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And if you guys want to be notified every time a boy drop a video, it is lit. Hit that notification button, bell right there. Let's get it. Other than that, we're gone.